All right, we are here with the 42 millimeter stainless steel Apple Watch with Milanese loop, and we're going to show you how to pair it and set up. You hold the side button to uh, power it on. You're going to see the Apple logo. It takes uh, about a minute. It takes a little while to fully turn on, but once it turns on, you'll see the uh, you choose a language screen. We're here. We're going to go with English, and it's going to tell you to start pairing the watch. So I'm going to take my iPhone here and open the Apple Watch app. And you'll see on the watch, it goes to this uh, particle world uh, rotating, a pretty cool design. That's what you use to actually pair it. And on the phone, once you open the Apple Watch app, you'll click Start Pairing. You'll see the uh, yellow outline for the watch, and you're going to hold it, uh, the watch in front of the iPhone camera so it sees that uh, rotating particle world, and it'll tell you that it's paired. Pretty simple, happens pretty quickly, and we'll click Set Up Apple Watch. Now it tells you which wrist are you going to wear it on, I'm going to choose left because I'm right-handed, so it might be a little confusing. So if you're right-handed, you're most likely going to wear it on the left, so I chose left. Uh, if you're left-handed, you could choose to wear it on your right wrist. Uh, terms and conditions, of course, we're just going to agree and uh, agree again to confirm. And you'll see uh, you're going to have to enter your iCloud password, and if you have two-step verification on for your iCloud account, you'll need to uh, verify it. I'm going to tell it to text me my four-digit passcode there, and it'll text it to me in a moment. And once you receive it, you'll enter it on the phone, and you'll be set to go there. You can enable location services, of course, and Siri, diagnostics, whether you want to send them or, or not send diagnostics automatically. And then you'll create a passcode on the watch, which will be used to unlock your watch if it's out of range from your phone and you'll create that four-digit passcode actually on the watch itself. You can choose to install all your available apps now or choose to do this later. I'm going to choose later because uh, there's a number of apps that are probably going to sync to the watch and it'll take a while. So I chose later and you'll see the Apple Watch is going to start syncing. This process is going to take maybe five to ten minutes depending how much information on your phone like contacts and things like that are going to sync over. You'll see kind of the uh, progress wheel around the Apple logo on the watch. And again, this is going to take a little bit of time, about five to ten minutes. You may want to plug it in with the charger while it does this, so you make sure you have enough charge when you're ready to set it up. And there's a close-up of the uh, Apple logo and the progress bar. And once that's completed, you'll be ready to use your new Apple Watch.